Oh, it's like a happy slappy bear, but he's been on voids for 40 years. What's up guys and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, we're gonna be tackling some special stages that I've had my eye on for a while. The first being Old Guys About Town, where we should be able to unlock Kung Fu X. And then we can actually do Kung Fu X Awakens and get his true form. So it's gonna be a very Kung Fu filled episode. Now I'm not entirely sure what I need to bring with me. I looked up some strategies and they just kind of said, bring meat shields, bring long range damage dealers, use them. Not very specific. I don't think the first level that we're gonna try is gonna be particularly difficult. Getting basic Kung Fu X? Is it Kung Fu X or Kung Fu Cat? It's so strange. Maybe it's not even a cat? But regardless, I've already done a bunch of the levels because I figured there's no chance that I'm actually gonna be able to unlock him. I don't even think it's a 100% chance to get him from Wife Still the Boss. I should probably check that because if it's not, then I might need to use a treasure raider. I don't really want to do this like a bajillion times. Unlikely chance to pick up Kung Fu Cat X. Okay, now, now we got it. Well, if that's the case, then we'll piss away a treasure raider because I'm pretty sure unlikely chance is like 5%. Maybe, I don't really want to spend the entire episode just trying over and over again, so what have we got? We got a uh, backflipping penguin, a couple of little guys. Not a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'm pretty sure it, if it's gonna be the final level, then it's just gonna send him out as a boss. So I probably have a little bit of time to just stack some money here. Some of these backflipping penguins look like they've seen better. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. What do you mean, like tornado flips? I was gonna say, it looks like they've seen better days. They're a little over the hill and maybe roided out. So let's take this a little more seriously. Let's send out some stuff to blow them back to the Arctic. What are these guys? They will not die. Just go down. There we go. Oh, okay. They're just gonna survive a Bahamut strike. That's cool. I don't really have a whole lot more going on here, so we can just stack. They're not moving forward. They're not like crazy damage dealers or anything like that, but they're freaking intimidating to say the least. I can't deploy any more cats. No major resistance yet. Whoa, whoa. Even the dogs are super muscular. Ah, ah, okay, fire the cats cannon. We definitely, oh, it's like a happy slappy bear, but he's been on voids for 40 years. This is crazy, okay. I like it. Is that what I'm gonna get? It doesn't look like a cat, right? It does look like a happy slappy bear. And uh, I can't tell if it's moving forward or not. I think my meat shields are doing a pretty good job. We might be okay. It's like I said, I didn't think this was gonna be a particularly difficult level. They're tanky old buggers, I'll give them that much. I got another Bahama coming and another hacker cat and they're still just slapping and back flipping and enduring pretty much. <laughs> Another black cat coming, okay. Yeah, this was definitely more of a challenge than I expected, we'll just say that much, but, oh, I hate the knockbacks. Always make me think that they're done. It's gonna get to the point where I'm just gonna be able to nuke the base with Bahamut if he keeps getting pushed back any further. Okay, here we go, here's a spirit bomb coming at you. And, are you dead? He's dead. All right, so we should, you know, we will. I have a treasure raider, so we will get basic Kung Fu cat. I'm terrified what his awakened form could possibly bring. Even the base has like half a million health. I've been sitting here for like five minutes wailing on it. Yeah, okay, unlocked rare cat Kung Fu Cat X. What happened to Kung Fu Cat? Why is he the 10th? So what does this guy look like? Did I get the weird bear or is he an actual cat? Because it is Kung Fu Cat X. Where are you Kung Fu Cat? Ooh. Oh, this guy looks cool. Hold on. A cat who has devoted his life to perfecting the mighty mid-range attacks of Kung Fu. Improved destructive power in a single strike. So he has single attack, not area of effect. He's not particularly strong against anything. Very strange. So maybe he just does a crap load of damage. I don't know if he's spammable. It doesn't look like it. He looks like he's bigger than Titan Cat. Very interesting though. So I guess I should probably evolve him? I don't know, he might be crap is the thing. There's a good chance that he's crap and that I'm never gonna use him. But Battle Cats to me is like Pokemon. It doesn't matter, I'm never gonna use most of them. I just gotta collect them all. So if we're gonna get his awakened form, then I should probably have you at level 10. 
There we go, and now your drunken master cat X. What did he go party? A legendary kung fu master whose age, whoa, whoa, doesn't weaken his drinking prowess. Improved destructive power in a single strike. Okay, so he went from kind of being bouncy and peppy and, oh, he's probably very slow in that form as well. He looks extremely slow in this one. <laughs> what is he gonna evolve into, a drug addict? So I have looked up a little bit about Kung Fu X Awakens since the last level kind of terrified me. There are two levels. The first one, 5% chance of getting the reward. Second one, 100% chance. But the second one is considered to be one of the hardest levels in the game. So I think I'm boned. Well, we got through the cannon fodder that they sent out and there's the boss. All right, so I am still only at level three. I did not get a whole lot of time to increase my wallet or anything like that. Oh, this is bad. No, 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 not Corey. Oh, this is so crap. I was gonna say the boss doesn't even seem that bad because he's single target attack, right? But now they got freaking Cory and his shockwave just kills everything. Please bomb it, please hit him, please. No, don't get pushed back. Just hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. No, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way. I can't beat this stupid enemy. I don't know how anybody can beat it. He just tears through, like everything's dead. Everything is already gone. I can't meet shield because he has a shockwave and I don't have any way of stopping him or slowing him down because he isn't a specific color or type. So I'm just roasted? I don't know. I guess we're not getting the awakened form today. So much for that idea. Man, I wanted a Kung Fu episode. Now I'm gonna have to open some brick hack capsules to make myself feel better. We have Epic Fest going on. Ooh, and a starter special. We can get an 11 drop for only 750. Interesting, kind of tempting, not 100%, so I'm not gonna be doing it. I will be opening these solos though. Maybe I can get an Uber, maybe I'll feel better about myself then, or maybe we'll just get Tin Cat and I'll continue to hate my life. Is it really too much to ask for Radiant Aphrodite? It, it, like, is that so much to ask for? I can't get my Kung Fu, so I should be able to get Psycho Cat. I, I can get Psycho Cat. Should I save my cat food? Because I do know that there's an update coming to Battle Cat soon and there's gonna be two new Ubers released with that update and probably 100% chance at getting one of them. So I should have the 1500 necessary to open them. Yes, that is something that I should do, but I'm not gonna do that because I really wanna feel better about myself. So we're gonna spin the wheel and pray that I get something to fill the hole in my heart. And you know what, Hip Hop Cat? You're not it. So we're gonna continue. No Murkat, you're not it. I am on tilt right now, please. Fortune teller cat, I swear to God. It's, it's, I'm not gonna get anything, am I? I'm gonna get stilts cat. I gotta know, that's, that's not something. Ooh, blood boiling. Oh, yay, look, we got another wheel cat. Ow, oh, come on, radiant Aphrodite, whoa. Whoa, what are you? Whoa, that's different. Gold cat? Is that good? Okay. Okay, hole is filling up a little bit. It's not Radiant Aphrodite full though, so, whoa! Whoa, what are, you're definitely no Radiant or Dio Ramos. Cool. Yeah, uh, okay, you know what, the hole, it's a, uh, it's more of just a divot now. It could get better though. It won't get better with Gardener Cat. I'm just gonna keep pushing my luck a little bit here. Come on, Radiant Aphrodite. I know you're in there somewhere. You're not Gunslinger Cat Gunslinger instead of Gunslinger Cat because it's stupid. You see, I'm getting the names down. Come on. No. Not you. Come on. Please. One time. No, Shaman Cat. I don't know what I just got. I got some kind of crazy dragon thing. Let's go look at that. So we got Gold Cat, rolled in gold dust for a luxurious look, though it is just the same old cat. Exchange it for XP to level up other cats. Why would, oh, cr oh crap, no. Was I not supposed to use Gold Cat? No! Was I supposed to exchange this thing for a crap load of experience? Why would nothing tell me that before I use it? 
Oh crap, now I need to look at how much this thing was worth. I could have exchanged it for a million experience. <laughs> Gold Cat, you started to fill the hole and then you just blew it back up. And we have Dio Ramos, who looks a lot like Bahamut, but I'm willing to bet he's nowhere near as good. This dragon lord seeks to set it all ablaze, lay waste with epically mighty area attacks, might knock back and slow angels. Okay, so he's anti-angel, he will slow them, knock back, he resists being slowed himself. He looks kind of slow as it is, I'm not gonna lie. An area of attack, all right, I can't actually evolve him right now, He's, you know, he's kind of cool, I guess. A little bit disappointing for an Uber. I would take a booby Uber over a dragon Uber any day. But you know what? It's still an Uber. I'll take it. I feel a little bit better. I'm not going back to Kung Fu Awakens. That's dead to me right now. There's no way I can do that. Instead, I'm going to try a bit of Stories of Legend with you guys because I have been doing this in my spare time. I, I mean, I don't remember if I've said this on camera before or not, but when we're doing Into the Future, these levels are getting progressively easier and easier, and it got to the point where I finished the first three stages with just Giraffe Cat, just sitting there spamming, not even trying, so it's not worth showing to you guys, but you get a lot of experience, so it's been well worth it. Now we're on to Western Street, and uh, I'm starting to see some new interesting units. It's getting a little bit more challenging, and I really want to get up to Uru Run Wolf because it has a long range attack, it's a better damage dealer. I could definitely use it. So we're gonna begin with a Cowboy Haven. Maybe it'll be a cakewalk. Maybe they'll make me work for it at this point. I think I'll take a cakewalk. Okay, it's not gonna be completely free. They're sending out some slightly difficult, not even difficult, some slightly more resistant units. I mean, let's not give these pigs too much credit. I know they're probably a king and all, but uh, they're not exactly gonna push up to my base. There's also a couple of ducks, but I, I have a little bit more respect for the ducks. I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I did um, Crazed Tank and they kind of whooped me, I, I definitely don't want to screw with the ducks all that much. But yeah, I think, whoa. Uh, can't use any more units. Is that a boss? How is that a boss? You've been facing these the entire time. Okay, well, Bahamut is on his way, guys, so just hang out. He'll blow up the base in a minute. Any day now. Oh, okay. Nope, never mind. Yeah, Bahamut, you're not really needed. The uh, Paris stack managed to clean everything up, but I do appreciate you speeding up the sandcastle destruction. And there we go. You see, like, almost 50,000 experience for a pretty easy level. When you can fly through, I think, eight of them, and then you get all of your energy back at the end, so you can go through the next eight and do that over and over and over. You get a lot of experience very quickly. So that was what I was doing to try to finish Into the Future Moon faster. So moving on in Western Street, we're gonna try Wanted Knight. Like at some point they're gonna throw me a curveball and I'm gonna get wooled again. And it's gonna make me feel, uh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, hold on. That, that, yeah, you know what? We could probably call that a curveball. That's a very fast head. Are we good tanks? I think we're good, right? Yeah, he's he's not really killing my meat shields. Okay, no, I think we're okay. Crisis averted. Please die, stupid random floating fast. Hey, there we go. So that wasn't even a boss. That was just a, a random unit. It decided to spit at me. What else is waiting? I'm incredibly curious about. We will find out. Knock, knock. Anybody home? There's gotta be some kind of, oh, okay, there's uh, more of them. That's kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I didn't even bring my own head cat or anything like that. I think we shouldn't have any trouble killing them with black cat if she doesn't miss, right? They're not getting through my meat shields anyway. I feel prepared, I feel very accomplished, just, yeah, just wooling them. <laughs> Easy enough, uh, do I have anything quick to send out there? No. All right, they shouldn't take very long killing the base. And kaboom, there we go. Yeah, we got uh, like 50,000 experience. Oh, and that's the thing about these levels is that you're not just getting like items. Like everywhere else in the game you can get stuff like cat food and random consumable items. In this, you get building materials for your base and you can actually upgrade your base with the engineer core. So it's interesting to get stuff like bricks. Macaroni Town, um... That doesn't really give me any indication as to what we're up against, right? Just, okay, Macaroni Town, Snick, Doggo, oh, metal. Metal, huh? 
Mmm, didn't bring any anti-metal, but if there isn't a crap ton of metal coming, uh, yeah, we'll be okay. It's like I've always said, metal, they're just very resistant. They don't really do a whole lot of damage. I wonder if it's better to stack dragons or Paris, because I've seen a lot of strategies where they want you to do one or the other. Like, Paris has an area of effect attack, so maybe if there's a lot of meat shields coming out, they're better. I'm pretty sure dragon is single area of effect, but dragon should be stronger, right? It costs more. These are the things that I really need to learn about Battle Cats to get better at this freaking game. And as expected, the metal units did not really do all that much. Just kind of hindered my progress. Another 50,000 experience never hurts. Bricks and feathers, sure. So Western Street has eight stages and we are on Wandering Traveler, which is the fifth. I'm pretty sure the eighth stage does have some kind of crazy unique boss, usually. I'm not sure, I, I think that's the trend. And uh, snacks and doggos slowly coming across the fields toward me are not exactly threatening. Okay, we're just gonna wait a little bit. One thing I've been meaning to ask you guys when I'm gathering so many of these materials is, is it worth me getting a different cat cannon? Because you can get a cat cannon that slows the enemy, you can get a cat cannon that does a wall, I think? I'm not entirely sure, I haven't looked into it a whole lot, but I've noticed that when I go to upgrade my base, I can build a new cat cannon. I don't really know if it's worth it or not. You guys will have to let me know. I, I've never even really seen it used before, so maybe it's just like years away from me being able to actually get to it, but uh, who knows. So Western Street, we're moving on to Disappointed Guard. Well, they're not gonna be disappointed for long because soon they'll be dead. Did the Disappointed Guard go home? Because they haven't sent out anything yet and I'm a little bit confused. I am not going over there. I am not gonna hit this base and trigger some kind of crazy boss. So how about we just hang out? I'll save up, summon a Bahamut. Come on, game, give me anything. Give me something to do here. I don't know what this level's deal is, but I've maxed out my worker cat and now I've almost maxed out the money that I can hold. So I guess we can just start sending out some stuff Maybe some slow moving stuff and wait for something to happen. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this, right? That there should be something crazy strong in there waiting for me if this is the case. If it's giving me endless time to build up, it's practically giving me a free rich cat. Then what's waiting? Is that it? It's just, just a rhino and an anteater. I mean, I hate both of those units, but it's not exactly what I had expected. I'm just gonna fire the cat cannon in their face and, and send out Black Cat and then we're, we're probably good, right? Times like these that I wonder, is it a very small castle or are my cats gigantic? Like is base cat the size of a regular tank? Who knows, the perspective in this game is completely shot out the window. 54,000 experience, it's definitely a decent reward. Next up we have Cowboy Mountain, and now I'm wondering what the final boss of this could be. They don't usually make any thematic sense, so I probably shouldn't be guessing, but this seems to be all like Wild West and uh, I don't know, like Southern border of North America kind of thing, so maybe, I don't know, like a snake or a vulture or something like that would be pretty cool. In reality, it's probably gonna be a makeup covered sloth on fire and I'm gonna question everything. You guys will have to let me know if you want to see more of these stories of legend battles because like all these levels, they're not particularly interesting in my mind. They, they send out the same units that we've already seen before. They're eight to 10 times stronger, so they put up a bit of a resistance, but there's nothing new to surprise me or challenging. It's just kind of a grind. And I feel like I'm editing a lot of that out, so it might end up making for a weird video. I don't really know. The big payoff though will hopefully be Rodeo Knight. And once again, I'm not gonna tailor my loadout because I have no idea what this boss could possibly be. Maybe there isn't even a boss. Who knows? That looks like the kind of place that an evil boss would live. I don't think, nope, that wasn't the boss. That was just a random bouncy pig. So they haven't really sent out anything yet. I've just sent out one Paris and now we're gonna knock on the door and see what we're up against, hello? 
No, tiny men, stop that. Okay, red bun bun. All right, you know what? Not having any anti-red might make this a bit of a challenge. I did not expect that at all. I should be feathering my meat shields very carefully and firing the cat cannon. Hmm. Okay, I might actually lose this. Oh, good pushback. I, I, I kind of need like Raiden or Headcat or any anti-red to be perfectly honest. But if I can keep, there we go. Just redding the meat shields, one for every punch. We don't need to get mold. Ah, don't want to get Black Cat punched because she's all I got going for me right now. Oh crap, there's other units coming too. Hmm. I get the feeling this guy might be ramped up as well. Like he might be eight times stronger than a regular Bun Bun for all I know that there's no telling. So I, I just need to pray, I guess, and maybe send out some more damage dealers. That would help a lot with stuff like this stupid Rhino. I didn't get Bahamut out is the issue. If he was here, it would definitely have gone much better for me. Come on, Black Cat, you could do it. Oh, that's, that's a lot of pushbacks. Oh yes, something died. I think a bunch of Rhinos died. He's really close to the base right now. This is, uh, I'm gonna say this is uncomfortable, but it's uh, probably even more uncomfortable for him because he's dead. I gotta say, Black Hat is a unit that I always want to use. Like she's technically anti-red and alien, but I maxed her out because her range, it makes her so useful. Like she almost never dies. Awesome. So now we get 77,000 experience and a piece of coal and all of our energy and now we can go through the entire thing for the second star and the third star and the challenge and you just get a crap ton of experience and materials by doing it but it might not be particularly entertaining to watch. So you have to let me know about that. I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And you know, even though I didn't have the full Kung Fu episode that I had hoped for, I still enjoyed it. I got on tilt, I will fully admit it. I probably shouldn't have wasted my cat food like that. But I like taking on a bit of a challenge in the videos. I like it so that when you guys watch, you know that I might not always win. I might need to use some strategy and stuff like that rather than steamroll levels like Stories of Legend. But it comes down to what you guys want to watch. So like I said, you'll have to let me know. And maybe that dragon that we unlocked is awesome. Or maybe he's crap. I really have no idea. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.